So today we've got to talk about a hot topic in manifestation world and that is the conundrum of waiting for your manifestation to materialize. So many people who are into manifesting now, especially people who are newer to the manifestation game, find themselves in this waiting energy. And I've talked about waiting before, but it's so important. We need to talk about it again. And I have a success story today that will really exemplify for you the antidote that I'm gonna give you today, the antidote for waiting that I'm gonna to explain to you today. This success story will explain that to you. Because falling into the waiting energy trap is a bigger deal than you might think. Waiting is not fulfillment. In fact, waiting is the opposite of fulfillment. Waiting is resistance. Waiting is really suffering. It does not feel good to be in an energy of waiting. Does it feel good to be in a waiting room in a doctor's office or waiting for anything that you're impatient for? No, waiting never feels good. It feels uneasy. It feels a little insecure. It feels like suffering. It feels like stuckness. It's not a good energy to be in. And it's like, no wonder when you're in waiting energy, it's like the thing you're manifesting just keeps you waiting. <laughs> So we're gonna get into this today, but before we fully dive in, I will introduce myself to any of you who might not know me yet. My name is Genevieve and I'm a manifestation coach. I'm here to really help you embody the principles of manifestation. Manifestation is really so simple on paper. It's simple to explain in its basic terms. You simply embody that you already have what you want. Isn't that so simple? But just because the truth is simple, that doesn't mean that there's a lot of nuances is that you need to understand to help you actually embody that having of your desire. So I'm the kind of coach that's here to help you through that, to try to explain nuances and things to you. I like to go deep with stuff. So if you like me as a teacher, if you wanna work with me more deeply, you can do that in a few ways. You can do a private coaching session with me. Although right now the calendar is closed, it'll be reopened in probably a couple of weeks. So just hold your horses if you're watching this the moment this video is coming out. Or if you don't wanna wait, <laughs> you can just do a course. All my courses are listed below. So you can just sign up for those right now and do those today. Or you can join the membership portion of this channel, or you can just keep watching all of the free content I give you here. I give you a lot in these videos. So just that can help you shift so much. Okay, so that's that. Check out all the links below for any of that. But let's first get into the success story I wanna share with you. And then I'll talk about this very key antidote to cure your waiting energy. So as I said before, waiting is not the wish fulfilled. A lot of you sometimes think that like, oh, I did my technique, I did my affirming, or I did my sats, or I did the visualization. So now it's like totally logical that I'm gonna wait for my manifestation. And so sometimes you guys think that waiting is like a part of this, like that it's normal. It shouldn't be a part of this. As I said, waiting is an energy that kind of cancels out fulfillment. Fulfillment feels like it's done. Relief has been achieved. The thing has already been achieved. Why? Because you've already experienced it. You already gave it to yourself through your technique or through your mental diet. You've already experienced the manifestation. So therefore it would be illogical that you'd be waiting for the manifestation because you've already experienced it. There's nothing to wait for when you've already experienced it. So if you're doing a technique and then waiting for the 3D to show it to you, you didn't really do that technique well enough or that technique that you're doing just hasn't really sunk in with you. Or you're just misunderstanding this whole thing, which is also possible. Anyway, let's get into the success story because it's really interesting and very nuanced in and of itself, and I think it will help you. So this particular client of mine, she is manifesting a specific person, as I know many of you are. I know many of you are not, but for those of you who are, she is as well. And her birthday happened, and she got really caught up in the 3D because again, just side note, Waiting is always about the 3D. And as you know, as a manifester, we have to completely let go of the 3D. The 3D no longer is our source of fulfillment. That's why, as I said before, you're not waiting for anything because you already experienced it. You already tapped into it through the power of you, the power of the divine through you. You already experienced and gave yourself your manifestation. So there's nothing to wait for. The 3D and ego stuff, that's what creates waiting. So anyway, 
it's her birthday and she got caught up in the 3D again. And whenever you get caught up in the 3D again, of course you get stuck in like waiting stuff again. So it's her birthday. She's caught up in the 3D because she really wants her specific person to acknowledge her on her birthday, to like her photos on her birthday. And as the day went on, she was getting very impatient that she was just being totally ignored by her specific person. She's having all these thoughts like, well, he knows it's my birthday. Like, why isn't he saying anything? He's not even reaching out, blah, blah, blah. And she's really engaging in the impatience and in the very fear-based thoughts, all these thoughts she's having of like stories she's making up about like, well, he knows it's my birthday, like all that stuff. It's all fear-based ego stuff. She's really getting caught up in it. She's not really on her mental diet because she's just going with the momentum of the fear-based thought. She's not really giving herself fulfillment. She's just like, j just going with the triggering thoughts. But all of a sudden she realized who she was and she caught herself finally and realized what she was doing. All of this impatience, all of this fear-based stuff that she was buying into in her mind, she realized okay, I just need to let that go. This is not helping me. I'm the operant power and all of this stuff that I'm thinking is completely not helping me. And what she did specifically for her, and this will tie into the cure I'm about to give you, what she did for herself in that moment is she decided to deeply accept that she was in a lot of fear. So she acknowledged, okay, I've spun off to a weird place. I'm getting all impatient. I'm getting all fear-based in my ego. I just want to take a breath and just really accept, okay, I'm feeling really afraid right now. And in her case, she also decided to accept that her SP was afraid as well. And this is kind of a little bit of an advanced technique that she was doing because she had already been assuming that her SP was afraid to reach out. And so, she, so it was helpful for her to accept fear on both ends. Like she was accepting her own fear in a very genuine, non-threatening way. And then she was also acknowledging in her mind, like, okay, my SP is also afraid. That's really okay. I totally accept that. It's like, there's no problem here anymore. I'm just accepting that there's this fear energy kind of happening between us right now. And she, in that moment, accepted it in such a just genuine deep way. Acceptance, you might guess, is the antidote. Acceptance is love. Acceptance is grace. Acceptance is relaxing. Accepting is there's nothing to prove anymore. Acceptance is there's nothing to try to get or manipulate anymore. Acceptance is just like a sigh of relief and like, you know what, whatever this is right now, I just accept it. That It's not a threat to me. I'm just going to accept that like this is what I guess I think the circumstances are right now. But through the acceptance of the circumstances, you're actually taking all your power back from whatever you're perceiving in these circumstances. So acceptance is a powerful cure to anything that's causing you resistance in your manifestation process. So what was so cool though for her is that the moment that she went into really deep acceptance, like first she remembered she's the opera in power, she called herself out for what she's doing in her own head, and then she went into total acceptance about this fear energy that she was assuming between her and her person. And no joke, like five minutes or less maybe after she got into that really deep, genuine acceptance energy, her SP liked a photo and like wished her a little happy birthday. And she was like, whoa, mind blown. Like, cause it was like immediate results. Like when she immediately let go, of the waiting and the impatience and all of the fear-based thoughts that were supporting the waiting and impatience, when she immediately let that go through total acceptance, boom, that's when the 3D gave her a genuine reflection because she had shifted back into a genuine energy within herself, a genuine empowerment within herself. She reclaimed herself from all the weird circumstances she'd been making up in her head. So how does all of this apply to you? Well, again, if you are in waiting energy, you are in non-acceptance of the wish fulfilled. You're not accepting that it's done. And you're also not accepting the circumstances that you're perceiving 
are the problem to its doneness, if that makes sense. Because often when you're in waiting energy, you'll do similar stuff like what she did. Like your ego will get really spun up about like logically thinking. Like, well, logically, they know that this is a special day and they know that this should happen. Or logically, obviously this would happen next or this should go away. If they, like, like there's so many things that your quote unquote logic can use as a form of resistance of like, well, I'm waiting for this thing to change. And logically it should change like right now. And you're judging it and you're looking at it and you're waiting for it to change. All of that is non-acceptance. You're not accepting that you know what the 3d world just is the way it is right now this is why i really love her particular story about this thing that happened to her because she accepted the very thing the very circumstance this like fear energy that she was creating when she just genuinely accepted it so deeply in a way that she was no longer threatened by it she was like you know what i guess that's just what it is today that like we me and him we're just in a lot of fear today I'm just gonna totally accept it and just let it go that that's what it is right now. And the minute she let it go and took all that power back from it that she had been, you know, stirring up in it, when she just accepted it so deeply, finally her manifestation physically materialized. So what areas of your life are you still in a lot of resistance to? Like what things in your 3D, especially things that you think are in direct conflict with your manifestation and it could be so many different things but what are you still in your 3d reality fixated on and in a lot of resistance to and in this kind of waiting energy like waiting for something to happen about this or waiting for this to move or be different anything that you're judging as like i need that to be different now and i'm waiting for it to change anything that you're judging in that way is where you need to apply fulfillment because newsflash acceptance and the wish fulfilled are actually the same thing like when i tell you guys that the wish fulfilled feels like relief it feels like you've just let go of all the resistance and you've just accepted that it's really done that there's nothing to search for anymore there's nothing to strive for anymore there's nothing outside of you that's a problem anymore you've just decided in your own sovereign internal power that, yep, I just feel good about this thing now. And I don't even need proof from the 3D to like validate me or whatever it was I used to be obsessed about. I'm just letting the 3D go and in my own sovereign power, I've just decided that I feel good about this now. That is the wish fulfilled and that is also acceptance. They are the same thing. And that's why you feel that relief and that just like, okay, I'm just done worrying about this. So anything in your reality that when you look at it, it immediately takes away that sense of relief and doneness and acceptance. If that thing is having that effect on you, then your power, your old story still has power over you through that thing. Like your power has been taken away by that thing. You gave it to that thing, by the way. Like if you're looking at a circumstance and it bothers you, you, the operant power gave your power to that thing and that's why it triggers you in the old story every time you see it. And I am being so real with you when I say that the way to just dissolve all that resistance and take the power back is to just really full heartedly and genuinely accept that current circumstance for exactly what it is even if it's all those things that like really trigger you like for a lot of you it's like third party stuff competition stuff like thinking that someone else has your manifestation and therefore you can't have it because somebody else has it anything that's like a 3d construct that your ego looks at and judges is like oh that's a problem i don't feel fulfilled anymore because this the more you learn to accept that thing that used to bother you it will it will dissolve the circumstance itself in the 3d will dissolve that's the power of this and of course because all manifestation stuff is paradoxical it is a paradox that when you genuinely learn to accept the thing that used to threaten you the most it goes away like your ego would think oh well if i accept it if i apply acceptance then it'll really have power over me but your ego is an idiot and your ego doesn't understand spiritual laws it can only understand like linear a to b to c logic it has a really hard time <laughs> with spiritual laws so you really can't defer to your ego or trust your ego with this stuff you've just got to trust the paradox 
that when you genuinely accept something as just, it is what it is right now, I'm not gonna let whatever this is over here take away my sense of relief, acceptance, doneness, fulfillment. This, this stuff out here is no longer a threat to me. I accept it just as it is. And when I say genuine acceptance, I mean the kind of acceptance where you don't even need it to change anymore. Cause I think that's also a thing you guys sometimes misunderstand is you try to apply acceptance in a very disingenuous way where you're like, okay, I'll do a little manipulation and just, oh yeah, I accept that, I'm like, okay. And like you're pretending to accept it because you think if you accept it, it'll go away. But if you're not, if you're not accepting, and again, a very genuine, deep way, not like a manipulation tactic way, it has to be genuine, where you're genuinely like, yep, even if this circumstance never changed, even if it never went away, I would still accept it. I would still be fulfilled. I would still know that I am the power and all my fulfillment comes from me. Even if my 3D reality never changed. The paradox, the power of the paradox there is that that is when the circumstance changes, but only when it's very deep and genuine. Because again, I see you guys do this a lot where you're trying to like manipulate with acceptance and that doesn't work. It backfires on you because you can't trick yourself. You can't trick your soul and you can't trick God. So if you're trying to manipulate spiritual laws through like a weird, like just half-hearted, disingenuous form of acceptance about something, you're just probably pulling yourself even deeper into a bad state because you're still in insecurity and fearful trying to control and just anything you try to do from that fearful attachment state, it's just not gonna go well for you. But how do you get out of the fearful attached state? You accept it. That's another thing. When you apply acceptance to everything, both the external stuff and the internal stuff, when you genuinely accept, just like my client did, where she caught herself and she was like, whoa, I'm just gonna accept that like right now, I'm just really afraid. Like I see it now, I see clearly what I'm doing to myself and I'm just gonna accept, okay, I'm afraid right now. And I accept that, you know, my person's afraid too and there's this fear between us right now. And you know what, I'm just gonna decide, I accept it, it's not a problem to me anymore. I'm not threatened by this fear in me anymore, but I'm also not gonna keep acting from it in like a unconscious way. Cause that's what a lot of you are still doing is you're not even seeing your state. You're still unconsciously acting out from fear and you're not taking that step out of it to look back at yourself and be like, whoa, what am I doing? Like I see I'm acting out from fear. Instead, I'm not gonna act out from this fear. I'll just accept it but I'm gonna accept it and then stop taking any action <laughs> from the fear. And that just takes practice. Accepting your fear states, it just takes practice. But it starts with getting very good at being genuinely honest with yourself about what you're doing in your own energy. And this is why mental diet is so important because when you have a good mental diet and you can kind of see where your thoughts are going throughout your day, it's easier to hold yourself more accountable and see like, oh, I'm going to a weird place in my head. I don't really need to do that, but I'm gonna accept that I did do it and be non-threatened by it, but I'm gonna like bring myself back to my center. When you deeply accept your life and your reality exactly as it is right now, with or without the physical manifestation, when you deeply accept everything just as it is right now, you are catapulted out of the waiting energy. Waiting energy is a byproduct of not accepting. If you're in waiting, that means there's things about your life, you're like, nope, don't accept this, can't tolerate this, I'm just gonna wait until it changes, I'm gonna just keep forcing and forcing my affirmations or forcing techniques until this changes because I do not tolerate this, I'm gonna wait for it to change. That non-acceptance is keeping you in the resistance of waiting. So again, really deeply and genuinely embrace this paradox that when you so deeply accept your life exactly as it is right now. All the circumstances, all of the things about you, all of the things that in the 3D maybe appear to be the opposite of your manifestation. When you accept those things that look like the opposite of your manifestation, when you genuinely accept those things, like I'm not even threatened by that, not a big deal. When you genuinely accept it, ironically, again, that's when reality really starts to shift and actual manifestations start to have room to take place. Okay, I think this is enough for today. As always, let me know your 
thoughts and questions or maybe requests for other videos down in the comments below. Some of you who watch this, you might notice the couch behind me is gone. I'm moving. So things are going to look different for the next like week or so until I move. And then it's gonna look really different because I'm going to be in a very, a totally new location. So just bear with me as things around me move. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. I am so, so glad you're here and that you found me. You are on the right track. I just know you are because no one who watches these videos isn't on the right track. You've just got to accept that you've arrived. You're right where you're supposed to be. You've arrived. That's all you need to know. So thank you guys for being here and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye.